Hi, this is a kosher ham. It's been a while since I've been on. I haven't felt like it. But I've got two gigabytes and nothing to do with them. So here it is. First, let me start with a historic case. Trump owes somebody an apology. Specifically, he owes an apology over his MS-13 or animals remarks. But since I'm a Trump supporter, you probably ought to have guessed that I'm not suggesting the apology that you like. The people do an apology. The, ent the entities do an apology are animals. MS-13 are not animals. Animals are good, decent, caring ent entities that are generally just trying to survive. They're doing something not nasty. They're trying to eat. They're trying to have dinner. They're not trying to scare people. <clears throat> MS-13 are demons spawn from the hell of the depths of hate in our own minds. From the collective unconscious. That's who they are. I'd like to share with you some thoughts on Trump. If you made it this far, you know I voted for Trump. You know, maybe you don't like Trump. If you don't, maybe you ought to think about why Trump is president. And if you don't listen to Trump, you don't listen to the people who put Trump in office. I guarantee you, they will find someone you will like even less. Let that sink in a moment. The, the tactics of the resistance are looking more Nazis than the real Nazis. And I mean the 1930s Nazis. The resistance has produced a situation that I am fully prepared to vote for Mike Pence in 2024 for POTUS. Or in 2020, if you should happen to successfully impeach and remove Donald J. Trump before, night, before 2020. And I consider Don Mike Pence to be a homophobic bigot. And I'd rather vote for him than many of you. I won't vote for Kamala Harris. I will not vote for Pocahontas. I certainly will not vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton, Joe Biden, Michelle Obama, Nancy Pelosi. In fact, from Nancy Pelosi, I'd like to see an examination to make sure she still has a pulse and is not undead. Because I think the Constitution might be able to exclude a vampire and the undead from the office of president. With an, impl with an implied requirement that the president of the United States be a living entity. Illegal immigration cannot be tolerated. Anyone who says no border, no wall, no USA at all is not going to get my vote. Calling me a Nazi is not going to get my vote. Calling me a racist is not going to get me to vote for you. Calling me a traitor is not only not going to get you to vote for me, but is liable to get you the thrust of a sword or a bayonet. As I defend my personal honor. You can come up with whom you like. But if you only are coming up with candidates that make a certain a large segment of the population want to vomit at best. You've got an electoral problem. This is a kosher ham. Please subscribe. Please notify. Please consider giving me money and making me a rich and successful YouTuber. All right. That was a little heavy. Have a nice day.